in this week's Technical Corner, I'm joined by Gareth from Tame Work Holding, and we're going to discuss the Innerflex four jaw compensating chuck. Now, Gareth, four jaw chucks have been around for many years. So, what is unique about this product? At first glance, Geo, it looks like a four jaw self centering chuck. Uh, when you look at it and understand it, it's really a combination between a three jaw concentric chuck and a four jaw independent chuck. Everything that those two will do, this will pretty much so do. So basically, Gareth, you can be holding round components on here still, yep. but also it gives you the ability to hold irregular shapes, so rectangles or any kind of irregular, irregular shapes. Yeah, rectangles, squares, particularly good for castings if they're ir irregular. Uh, the, the, the way it, it works is that that it will all, it's always trying to put the part onto the center line. So how does this work? Is each jaw independent or a, a pair of jaws independent? How does it work? Uh, it works with, with, with each pair of jaws. So the first pair of jaws will come in, they'll apply pressure to the part and center it in that axis. Once they've applied pressure, then the other two, they, they will stop and then the other two jaws will come and apply and center the part in that axis. When all four are then applying pressure, it's tightened up to its maximum torque and the part is on centre better than 20 microns. That's fantastic. Now, so effectively, Gareth, you've got like two centric grippers, two centralising vices in, in one. That's exactly right. Now, this is a, a manual product, but you've also got power versions. Is that correct? We have, yep. Yeah. So we've got a, a standard manual chuck, which key operated, as you can see. Uh, we also do a power chuck which has a through hole, a power chuck with a uh, closed centre and then there's also a much bigger uh, lightweight version which uh, which is in, a, in the form of a, a crucifix uh, for big vertical boring and machines. Is that basically just to take the weight out of it? It's, it's a lightweight chuck and it's yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and that can go up to 1.2 meters and wow. beyond. So, I mean, I can see a real application for maybe mill turn machines, you know, it, when you load in rectangular billet instead of just feeding round bar through it. Is that something that this would lend itself to quite well? Yeah, that's really where I see the the, the big game you know, that the customers would have. And obviously the mill turn machines are becoming ever more complex and they would do more and more operations. And the ability to either put a round part on there, a square part, a rectangular part without changing the chuck without changing your fixture in uh, i think it would be a big big saver for the customer well, especially with, with the power power versions you know yeah. i think it's it, it's it is something that would be fantastic i believe and i suppose that you could put quite big rectangular billets in there as well gareth is that correct you can do so it, it's it's very easy to set up it's on a serrated type jaw so everybody's familiar with so you can offset two of the jaws uh, so if you've got a rectangular part, then you can offset set those two jaws, those two jaws with a small weight. So it, and within the two jaws, you can actually, if you wanted to, off, offset a part off centre if that's what you wanted to do. So it, it offers true flexibility. With jaws, mentioning jaws, can you also get soft jaws for second up work and, and to hold really irregular shaped parts as well and to stop it distorting, I suppose, because you've got it coming from four different planes. You can do, obviously, another advantage of, the, of this chuck is if you're gripping thinner parts, you've got four points of contact rather than three points worth. And even points of contact as well. And even, even points of contact. So it, with a thinner type part, it will reduce your distortion. Uh, you're squashing it in four places rather than three places. Uh, yes, soft jaws... You can it just takes a standard type uh, soft jaw, so you can mill it to shape, turn it tight to diameter. So it is very, very flexible. Now, Gareth, thank you very much for this insightful review on this new chuck. How should people get in touch to investigate this? It's a solution, really. This solution in more detail. Yeah, please get in touch by phone, tameworkholding.com. Uh, our sales guys all carry one of these round with them so we, we can bring you a small version to show you. Gareth, thank you. Thank you.